Esteemed guests, welcome to Ohio University Peden Stadium and to the commencement ceremonies for the Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine. For your comfort and safety, we ask that you remain in your seats throughout the ceremony and keep the aisles clear. Please note, masks are required at all times at Peden Stadium. We also ask you silence your cell phones and other electronic devices. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. The procession will begin in a few moments.
Esteemed guests, will you please stand for the Ohio University Ceremonial Mace, carried by Robin Muhammad, PhD, Chair of the Faculty Senate. The arrival of the mace marks the official opening of this commencement ceremony for the Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine. We ask that you remain standing for the procession of the platform party and the Star Spangled Banner. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You may be seated. Esteemed guests, welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine. I am Janelle Coleman, and it is my privilege to be here today as chair of the Ohio University Board of Trustees to convene this commencement. I am pleased to welcome the graduates who are being honored today, both here in person and watching remotely. Members of their family and their friends. And I would now like to introduce Stephen Davis, PhD, US Air Force major, retired to tell you about some very special graduates. Congratulations. Thank you, Trustee Coleman. Good afternoon. It is my great honor and privilege to be here today to recognize 15 members of today's graduating class who have made the awesome and sacrificial choice to serve our country 
by pursuing a career in military medicine upon graduation. These officers will be promoted upon graduation. Graduates, I would ask that you stand as I call your name and remain standing. And audience, please hold your applause, basically build up your applause, until I have introduced all of the officers. United States Air Force, Second Lieutenant Jordan Burry, who will be doing a traditional year at Kettering Health Network in Dayton, Ohio. Second Lieutenant Andrew Dixon, who will enter a family residency program at Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas, Nevada. Second Lieutenant Michael Gross, who will be doing an anesthesiology residency at HCA East, Florida in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Second Lieutenant Haley Kelly, who will be doing a transitional year at Crozer Health in Pennsylvania. And Second Lieutenant Zachary Ross, who will be doing a pediatrics residency at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. Must be the Air Force. <laughs> For the U.S. Army, Second Lieutenant Alexander Merck, who will be doing an internal medicine residency at William Beaumont Army Medical Center in El Paso, Texas. Second Lieutenant Emily Nelson, who will enter a family medicine residency at Womack Army Medical Center at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And Second Lieutenant Albert Phillips, who will enter a pediatrics residency at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. For the U.S. Army Reserves, Captain Caitlin Bard, who will be doing an emergency medicine residency at Metro Health in Cleveland. For the U.S. Army National Guard, Second Lieutenant Rob Balsiger, who will enter an otolaryngology residency at Detroit Medical Center in Michigan. For the U.S. Navy, Ensign Alexander Horig, who will be doing a transitional year at HCA Healthcare in Florida. Ensign Noah Kinrad, who will enter a family medicine residency at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. Ensign Robert Patterson, who will be doing an orthopedic surgery residency at the Navy Medical Center Portsmouth in Virginia. Ensign Lovepreet Singh, who will enter a family medicine residency at Naval Hospital Jacksonville in Florida. I'd also like to recognize an additional officer who is joining us remotely, Air Force Officer Second Lieutenant Zachary Wills, who will be doing an internal medicine residency at San Antonio Military Medical Center in Texas. It is time now to please join me in recognizing these patriots who have volunteered to serve our nation. Thank you. Thank you, officers. You may be seated. President Nels. Good afternoon. I'm Dwayne Nellis, and as president of Ohio University, and on behalf of our faculty and staff, I'm delighted to welcome family, friends, and especially the Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine Class of 2021 to this afternoon's commencement ceremony. Yes. This is an exciting day for the Heritage College and Ohio University. Today we celebrate the graduation of the 42nd class of students to complete their studies at Ohio's medical school. After a year in which we've been reminded so frequently 
about the important role of our health providers and the role that they play in our communities around the world. I'm extremely proud to be here today in person with so many future physicians and to celebrate with those of you watching not only here today in the audience, but also remotely. Graduates, during your white coat ceremony, you are welcome to Ohio University and the Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine. Today, I'm proud to welcome you to two new communities. As graduates of Ohio University, you join a worldwide community of more than 250,000 proud Ohio University alumni all over the world. You also join a community of noble professionals devoted to health, healing, and caring. As Heritage College gradua graduates, you are well prepared to practice medicine with integrity, commitment, compassion, and respect for each patient. I firmly believe your work will make a real difference in the lives of those you serve. We expect that you'll be an outstanding osteopathic physician and worthy representative of Ohio University in the years ahead. You should be proud of the hard work and determination that brought you to this day. Please know that we are proud of you and your accomplishments as well. It's now my privilege to introduce the Executive Dean of the Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine and the Chief Medical Affairs Officer of Ohio University. Let's welcome Dr. Kenneth Johnson. Thank you, Dr. Nellis. Welcome to all of you here, including those joining us online today. Family and friends, distinguished guests, and our guests of honor, the class of 2021. Graduates, I can't even begin to tell you how incredibly proud I am of each and every one of you here today. Even the best of circumstances, graduating from medical school is an incredible accomplishment. By completing medical school during a global pandemic, you have shown tremendous resilience, flexibility, and grace as you've overcome every challenge along the way. The qualities that you have developed will not only allow you to survive, but thrive during this time when you will serve in the months and years ahead. Your future patients are incredibly lucky to have you on their side, and I have been extremely blessed to witness your transformation from first-year medical students into the physicians that you have become today. Earlier in the week, I was reflecting with Pearson Huggins. Pearson, where are you? Hey, all right, good to see you, glad you're here. <laughs> that it felt just like yesterday that I was chatting with each of you at your orientation, and my, how does that time fly? As I look at our class of 2021, I'm reminded that each and every one of you has traveled a unique path to this graduation day. As an example, there's Rosie Oaks from Dublin campus, whose parents are both Heritage College alumni. Rosie, where are you? Off to the right. Off to the right. Hey, all right, there's Rosie in the back. And I think her family's over there, so thanks. Hey, all right, good to see you today. We have other students like Amy Melman Strope from the Athens campus who are first generation college students. Amy? Hey, all right. Good to see you, Amy. I should note that Rosie and Amy are our first graduates to come through our early assurance program. How about Rajri Joshi from the Cleveland campus? Where are you, Rajri? All right, there we are. Um, mother and first generation immigrant from India, holds a master's degree in zoology and a doctorate in genetics. And where is Colton Knopfs? Where are you, Colton? I'm, all right, hey, there we are. So 
Here's a fun fact about Colton. His face is going to be traveling all over Southeast Ohio for years to come because he's on the side of our mobile unit. So Colton, you're, you're with us for in, forever here. He looks really good in that photo too. So, 227 paths have led you to this moment today. Those paths converge as you become doctors of osteopathic medicine, and as such, you will forge a path ahead. It is you, the class of 2021, who will lead the transformation of patient care. It's you, the class of 2021, who will carry forward the rich traditions of our profession. Today, we celebrate you, your grit, your determination, your perseverance, and most of all, your achievements. We also celebrate the many individuals who have enabled your success. In honor of the gifts of time, knowledge, and wisdom that so many physicians had generously given to all of us as we've pursued our medical degrees, I ask that all physicians in the audience and on the stage please stand and be recognized. I feel a deep sense of gratitude for each and every one of them for their dedication to medicine and medical education. Graduates, I hope you'll join me in thanking another group who has been instrumental in your achievements here. The Heritage College faculty and staff, they have been your teachers, your mentors, your advisors, in many cases, your strongest cheerleaders as you have pursued your degrees. Please join me in a round of applause for our faculty and staff some of whom are here and many who are watching online. You have personally dedicated an incredible amount of time, energy, and efforts as you have earned your osteopathic medical degrees. And very likely, you have had a great deal of support from your family and friends in achieving your goal. Before I introduce our next speaker, will our graduates please stand and take this opportunity to say thank you to those in the audience who have supported you, believed in you, encouraged you, and cared and loved for you throughout all of your years of medical school. So graduates, please stand and find your loved ones. Awesome. Now I'd like to introduce our next speaker, another one of the proudest deans in town today, Dr. Isaac Kirstein, Dean of the Heritage College Cleveland campus. Isaac. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. I am incredibly proud and excited to be here today and celebrate with the class of 2021. A class whose medical school experience has played out a bit differently than any of us could ever have imagined just four years ago. Graduates, I'm incredibly proud of each and every one of you, particularly as you navigated the many challenge, the changes that were necessitated by this pandemic. Particularly by studying medicine during, uh, I know that each of you will continue to do great things in service to the communities through Ohio, and beyond. Some of our outstanding graduates have received special awards today their accomplishments, uh, for their accomplishments during medical school. And you will find the full list of the award winners on pages 22 and 23 of your programs. These award winners will be recognized as they're being hooded later in the ceremony. But I'd like to ask them to stand now. Please, stand up if you've won one of the awards. Please join me in congratulating them for all their exemplary achievements. Great work. I'd also like to recognize another group of graduates of whom I'm especially proud. Today we honor the first eight students to complete the transformative care continuum. The earliest discussions for designing our Cleveland campus included a shared vision with Cleveland Clinic to be bold and completely rethink how to train primary care physicians. 
We developed the transformative care continuum to prepare students for careers in family medicine in a totally new way. After completing medical school in just three years, these students will continue on to family medicine residencies at Cleveland Clinic, where they've been fully embedded with their healthcare teams already serving the communities since their first days in medical school. Now, one of our TCC graduates, Palmer Coleman. Palmer, where are you? Wave. Palmer. Palmer is going to be doing a residency at the Lakewood, Ohio site, right in her hometown. You know, during medical school, she completed a community project on trauma-informed care and domestic violence survivorship. And I know she and all of the TC students will continue to have a significant impact on their communities in the years to come. All of the graduates of the TCC completed projects of that caliber. So those families that are here today to celebrate their successes and those at home, we join in your pride and thank you, the students, for your great work. So on behalf of the college, I'd like to personally thank the TCC students for their passion, their compassion, and their commitment to improving community health. The program has far exceeded our expectations because of you. At the Heritage College, our innovation is prolific. I'd like to take this time to also thank our faculty and our academic affairs staff who worked on our Pathways to Health and Wellness curriculum as well as our transformative care continuum. Because of this shared vision and dedication, the Heritage College is leading the way in medical education for the next generation. And now I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Beth Longenecker. Dean of the Heritage College of Athens. Thank you, Dr. Kirstein. You know, as an alumna of this medical school, I'm especially proud to celebrate the great accomplishments of this class, the class of 2021 here today. You know, I can vividly remember being in your shoes all the excitement and all the hopes and the dreams and you know maybe even a little bit of nervousness. I realized that I'm gonna have to step up my game because in a month, I'm not just gonna be a medical student. I'm gonna be the doctor that's gonna be taking care of patients. You know, rest assured though, because your time here at the Heritage College has prepared you well for your careers as osteopathic physicians. You're ready to step into that role as a resident, and you're ready to provide that care to many people who is going to really be transformative and benefit so many. And you're gonna do it with empathy and respect. You know, I can't wait to hear all the great things and all the things that you as a class are going to achieve in the years ahead. Wherever you go, remember that your Heritage College, College family is here in your corner with you every step of the way. Another group of individuals who is going to be cheering for you and celebrating your success today are your mentors. In order to maintain everyone's health and safety, we're not going to be involving the mentors directly in hooding this year at our ceremony, but I'm so excited to see that so many of them are here in the stadium today. So to celebrate this class of 2021 with your mentors, we'd like to look around and identify those mentors. So I'd ask anyone here who is a mentor for our students to please stand so we can thank you for all of the guidance and support that you've provided throughout their medical school career. Mentors, could you please rise? Thank you. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, osteopathic medical student, Chihudabame Obianaya. Dubame is the 2021 Athens campus president and the national representative for the Heritage College Student Government Association. He has been a dedicated class advocate and an excellent scholar and student clinician. He is a 2011 graduate of the University of Nigeria with a Bachelor's of Science in Zoology. He has also earned a Master's of Public Health in 2014 and a Master's in Business Administration in 2016. Both of those degrees are from Wright State University. After graduation, he will be entering into an anesthesiology residency at Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center. 
Please welcome osteopathic medical student, Obianaya. Thank you, Dr. Longenecker. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and staff. It is such an honor and a privilege to stand in front of you today as the student speaker for this graduation ceremony. Over the last two years, we have been in different hospitals all over the state, and it is great seeing most of us together for one last time. I can still remember vividly my white coat ceremony. We walked to the stage, we handed out our name cards to Dr. Schreiner. Hi, Dr. Schreiner. As I got closer, I wondered how well my name would be pronounced. And I got to Dr. Dr. Schreiner, handed him my name card, and I said, good luck. <laughs> I waited for a few seconds, and my name hadn't been called yet. So I turned around to see what was going on, and uh, Dr. Schreiner was sweating. <laughs> Finally, Dr. Sh Dr. Schreiner, Dr. Schreiner gives it a go, turned to me, and then goes. <laughs> it is my understanding that Dr. Schreiner is doing us the honors again today. As I was putting on my white coat, I looked at the congregation and I saw my greatest support system cheering me on. The same people who supported me and the same people who I was so nervous to disappoint over the past four years. So before I go any further, I would like to use this opportunity to thank everyone who made this milestone achievement possible. Not just for me, but for all of us here. Thank you to the Almighty God, to all the parents, siblings, friends, spouses, and anyone who played a part in our upbringing and our growth. Thank you to the administration, faculty, staff, for their tremendous work to get us to this point. And I can't thank you enough for making this live graduation ceremony a success. And to my classmates, congratulations. I am so proud of everyone. You have displayed an incredible degree of hard work, resilience, and tenacity. And this is a time where the work begins. Take a moment today and remind yourselves of the journey over the past four years. You have grown to become a competent and confident physician. I'll tell you a real life story during our first year, we had the opportunity to attend the body donor memorial service. I was there with some of you, seated as we waited for the event to begin. Four rows to my left was an elderly lady who kept leaning over and looking at my direction. I, wasn't, I was convinced that she was not looking at me as I had never met her before. Later on, she leaned over again. This time, she waves at me. I began to get a little bit antsy, so I walked over to her, shook her hands, introduced myself, and I asked her who her loved one was. The more she talked about him, the more the description matched the donor who I worked on during my anatomy immersion. When I mentioned his name, she looked at me surprised, and we both broke down and sat tearing up. That encounter became such a powerful experience that shaped my attitude towards patients throughout medical school and will remind me of the need to treat everyone we encounter with love, compassion, and utmost care because they mean the world to their families, even in death. I would like to remind us a couple of events that have, that have happened over the past couple years that should inform our practice in the future, one of them being the pandemic and how it changed our lives for some people forever. Some lost loved ones, their source of livelihood and other intangible things. COVID-19 reminded the, the medical community 
that we are humans and hence we are not invincible. It reminded us of the need to keep an open mind, to continue to learn in an ever evolving world. Matthew McConaughey once said that there are three things he needs each day. Something to look up to, something to look forward to, and someone to chase. This advice would help keep us, keep our goals aligned, be the best versions of ourselves, stay steadfast to those things that motivate us, and remind us of the need to keep forging ahead in the midst of failures, obstacles, and barriers. Another critically important event was the fight for social justice and against healthcare disparities. And whether you are tall or short, white or black, gay or straight, rich or poor, we need to unanimously agree on what's right or wrong, just or unjust, fair or unfair for our communities. There is a need for us as physicians to be socially aware of the issues around us. This profession puts us in a position of authority and gives us a platform for people to listen. We have the chance to change the stereotypes and the narratives. So I invite everyone here today to be careful of our words and to use them wisely as people look up to us in our communities. Treat every patient by reminding ourselves of the similarities that we share and the differences that makes us beautifully unique. Remember, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And although we may never achieve perfection, we can all strive for a better society. Before I leave you all today, I implore everyone to be an advocate for their patients. For us to do this effectively, we need to work on our implicit biases and address them appropriately for the best outcome of our patients. In the years to come, whether or not you're done in your white coat, remember the moment you entered this great livelihood. Your patients will be vulnerable and disclose certain information hoping for physical, emotional, and psychological healing in return. Let us remember that our patients, that when our patients and their families are experiencing a rough time, we must lean in. The power of healing is a privilege, and I charge you all to use it with empathy and humility to better their health. Congratulations, class of 2021. This is the beginning of yet another journey. And to the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you, soon to be Dr. Orbi Yanaya. We're so proud of you, and those were wonderful words. This year, 227 osteopathic medical students from the Heritage College will become osteopathic physicians. Our graduates come from many different backgrounds with widely diverse interests, yet they all share several common traits, intelligence, motivation, compassion, and a commitment to becoming exceptional doctors. Now it's my honor to welcome you the members of the Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine Class of 2021 into the Ohio University alumni family. Let's give them a round of applause. It's my pleasure to introduce, at this point, our Executive Vice President and Provost Elizabeth Sayers, who will present the candidates for the degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Sayers. Will candidates for the degree of Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine please stand? President Nellis, honored guests, families, and friends, it is my pleasure and privilege to present to you for the conferral of their degrees these students whose dedication, 
and perseverance are hallmarks of the values inherent in the field of osteopathic medicine. On the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Ohio University Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining therefore. Congratulations, doctors. Doctors, please be seated, and the marshals will lead you to the stage. I have to say, I'm going to take executive privilege to say, I am just so proud of each and every one of you. And for the family and loved ones here and online, these are some of the most incredible individuals you'll ever meet anywhere. And I am just so deeply proud of the kind, caring, and truly altruistic character of each of them. We'll begin our hooding with our graduates from our Athens campus, followed by Cleveland and then Dublin. I would like to thank the best colleagues anyone could have anywhere, which is our campus deans, Dr. Beth Longenecker, Dr. Isaac Kirstein, and Dr. Bill Burke, who will be participating in today's hooding ceremony. After all the graduates who are hooded here today are hooded, we will read the names of those who will be joining us virtually. The first graduates on the stage from each campus are our primary care and osteopathic manipulative medicine associates who have spent an additional year developing their teaching and OMM skills and conducting research to prepare them for their careers in academic medicine or as OMM and primary care specialists. This program is very near and dear to my heart as I completed a very similar program in medical school. Our Athens Campus Primary Care Associates will be followed on the stage by five members of the class of 2021 who have earned dual degrees, three of whom have earned a PhD and two have earned master's degrees along with their DO degrees. Our Cleveland Campus Primary Care Associates will be followed by our first TCC graduates. After graduates leave the stage, they'll be picking up a copy of the Genesis Memory Book, a gift from the Heritage College that documents the special moments and memorable events throughout their medical careers. We will now begin the hooding portion of our ceremony. Dr. Lauren Chilton, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Mission of Medicine <laughs> Dr. Daniel Hyman. Dr. Candace Melkerson. Dr. Emily Grigg, recipient of the 2021 Kirkland Professionalism Award. Dr. Megan Shaw. Dr. Alexander White Kotzmeyer. Congratulations, family. Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed. Congratulations, man. Dr. Omar Saeed. Dr. Ian Akers, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Research Award. Dr. Caitlin Allen. Dr. 
Dr. Stephanie Ambach. Dr. Michael Baer. Dr. Wesley Baker. <laughs> Dr. Mark Bentley. <laughs> Dr. Ryan Orgamenki. Dr. Logan Brewer. Dr. Jordan Brown. Dr. Jonathan Burns, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award Mercy Health, St. Vincent Medical Center. Dr. Jordan Burry. Dr. Sierra Catalano. Dr. Kevin Chase. Good to see you, Chris. Dr. Christopher Sebermann. Dr. Alexander Clendenin. Dr. Patrick Connell. Dr. Sarah Cremines. Dr. Kristen Cuevas Schaub. Dr. Austin Cusick, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award Memorial Health System. Dr. Austin Daly. Dr. Brock D'Angelo. Dr. Marissa DeSanto. Dr. Lakmal Akanayake. Dr. Avery Elifritz. Dr. Mara Caitlin Ernst. Dr. Melina Fabring.
Dr. Catherine Fasoli. Dr. Nicholas Philippis. Dr. Nathan Fister. Dr. Haley Flynn. Dr. Adam Fratzak. Dr. Michael Frerich. Dr. Sparrows Gabriel. Dr. Brianna Gideon. Dr. Nicole Gaffari. Dr. Megan Grant. Dr. Andrew Gregory, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Southeast Ohio. Dr. Camelia Hyron. Dr. Ebony Hayward. <laughs> Dr. Nicholas Hinkle. Dr. Wee Ho. Dr. Alexander Herrig. Dr. Abigail Jagger. Dr. Morgan Gibbons. Dr. Gerald Julian. Dr. Madison Kayser. Dr. Tanisha Kashikar. Dr. Elijah Kelly. Dr. Alicia Kiger.
Dr. Brady Kinsey. Good night. Dr. Ty Lay. Dr. Caleb Lyles. Dr. Gregory Liller. Dr. Sam Long. Dr. Grace Magro. <laughs> Dr. Tamara Mahmood, recipient of the 2021 Best Case Base Paper Award. Dr. Daniel Manzanillo. Dr. Angela Masood, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Adina Health System. Dr. Amy Melman Strope, recipient of the 2021 Biomedical Science Award and 2021 Dean's Award Athens. <laughs> Dr. Jadith Mehta. <laughs> Dr. Alexander Merck. Dr. Meredith Bowler, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Mercy Health, St. Rita's Medical Center. Dr. Adam Morris, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Mercy Health, St. Joseph Warren Hospital. Dr. Michaela Morrow. <laughs> Dr. Emily Mortimer. <laughs> Dr. Colin Narsted. Dr. Emily Nelson, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Western Reserve Hospital. Dr. Stephen Colton Noss. Dr. Chu Wu. Dobame Bayanaha, recipient of the 2021 Osteopathic Leadership and Service Award. <laughs> Dr. Nana Ama Ofe Tenkoran. Dr. Efoma Okarafor. Okay. 
Dr. Robert R.J. Patterson. Dr. Isaac Pierce. Dr. Albert Phillips. Dr. Keisha Pierre Lees. Dr. Michael Piper. Dr. Chelsea Rambo. Dr. Jacob Riffle. Dr. Ryan Wren, recipient of the 2020 Outstanding Student Award, Firelands Regional Medical Center. Dr. Quinton Ritter. Dr. Daniel Rochester. Dr. Christopher Ross. Dr. Haley Rossiter. Dr. Julia Russell. Dr. Ross Sattler. Dr. Kelsey Schaefer. Dr. Briley Schaefer. Dr. Ryan Schraub. Dr. Megan Schulze. Dr. Yoon Ja Shen. Dr. Jamie Sindelar. Dr. Kyra Stepney. Dr. James Stott. Dr. David Sullivan.
Dr. Stephen Swade. Dr. Jacob Tabor. Dr. Armika Tatum. Dr. Emily Thomas. Dr. Evan Tillett. Dr. Benjamin Topper, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Holzer Health System. Dr. Gregory Terracini, Recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Grandview Medical Center. Dr. Aaron Webb. Dr. Michael Wen. Dr. Callie Wallet. Dr. Justin York. Dr. Nikki Young. Dr. Liza Zimmerman Slayton. Dr. Mel Mashad. <laughs> Dr. Amanda Scott. <laughs> Dr. Palmer Coleman. Dr. Caitlin Bard. <laughs> Dr. Megan Baradinas. Dr. Nicholas Borkey. Dr. Devin Daniels. Dr. Andrew Dixon. Dr. Charles Doolittle. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Haley Eichenlob. Dr. Jamie Freiberger. <laughs> Dr. Panina Kroll Gross Richmond. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Hill. Dr. Matthew Holcomb. Dr. Sarah Holcomb. Dr. Paula Jones. Dr. Rajshri Joshi. Dr. Noah Kainrad. Dr. Courtney Kilway. Dr. Rachel King. Dr. Ashley Mahajan. Dr. Melissa Malik. Dr. Joel Manzi, recipient of the 2021 Dean's Award, Cleveland. Dr. Julia Maxey, recipient of the 2021 Specialty Medicine Award. Dr. Gina Michella. Dr. Mac Kenzie Reese, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Cleveland Campus. Dr. Avalon Regabuto, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Lake Health. Dr. Nathan Reynolds. Dr. Shana Rood, recipient of the 2021 Family Medicine Award. Dr. Kristen Ruxtel. Dr. August Runyon. Applause 
Dr. Anthony Salvatore. Dr. Elizabeth Santucci. Dr. Lovepreet Singh. Dr. Abigail Stanick, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Cleveland Clinic, Akron General Hospital. Dr. Samantha Stoner. Dr. Cameron Swafford Price, recipient of the 2021 Inclusion Champion Award. Dr. Andrew Tudosi. Dr. Nicole Wagner, recipient of the 2021 Pediatrics Award. Dr. Danielle Dukes, recipient of the 2021 Social Medicine Award and 2021 Obstetrics and Gynecology Award and 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Central Ohio. Dr. Scott Nishimura. Dr. John Allen. Dr. Rob Balsiger. Dr. Bradley Billings. Dr. Shelby Bridget. Dr. Aya Basati. Dr. Katherine Davis. Dr. Richard Dowd. <laughs> Dr. Max Farenwald, recipient of the 2021 Dean's Award, Dublin. Dr. Michael Gross. Dr. Clint Handa. <laughs> Dr.
Dr. Pearson Huggins. Dr. Lindsay Jensen. Dr. Bradley Giroux. Yeah. Dr. Haley Kelly. Dr. Taylor King. Dr. Jason Loff. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Sean Long. Dr. Anthony Melaragno. Dr. Rosemary Oaks. Dr. Kennedy Ovenseri. <laughs> Dr. Adam Robb. Dr. Zachary Ross. Dr. Camille Salam. Dr. Michael Sauter. Dr. Kyle Schmitz. Dr. Savannah Sr. Dr. Gul Shah. Dr. Sarah Sheldon. Dr. Brooke Smith. Dr. Grant Snow. Dr. 
Dr. Evan Springer. Dr. Huang Ta. Dr. Christopher Tosino. <laughs> Dr. Charles Yancey. Dr. Christina Young. At this time, we will recognize our graduates joining us remotely. Johnny Abe Rashed. Jordan Ahrens. Michael Arnold, Dr. Eric Bachman, Dr. Caleb Beachy, Dr. Allison Britton, Dr. Josephine Chen, Dr. Alexander Combs Bachman, Dr. Alexander Chorba, Dr. Catherine Deegan, Dr. Fuad Elbash, Dr. Olga Shirley Gresh, Dr. Ling Fang Guo, Dr. Samantha Hudzik. Dr. Zachary Jackson. Dr. Mauricio Jones. Dr. James Kaz. Dr. Paris Kibera. Dr. Blake Kensel. Dr. Stephanie Kreis. Dr. Amoga Krishna. Dr. Sarah Lossi. Dr. Wen V. Luong. Dr. Alexandra Mansker. Dr. Kashari McCullough. Dr. Sayan Mulik Chowdhury, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Research Award. Dr. Jordan Patterson. Dr. Benis Pavisian. Dr. Lauren Pitak. Dr. Nicholas Pochedli. Dr. Madeline Popel. Dr. Carlisle Tofil Cope. Dr. Sidi Upadahe. Dr. Joyden Voitush. Dr. Sharon Ware. Dr. Brent Whitehead. Dr. Matthew Wilcox. 
Dr. Zachary Wills. Dr. Jacob Wolf. Dr. Lauren Wright, recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Student Award, Southern Ohio Medical Center. Well, that was pretty awesome. Congratulations, class of 2021. <laughs> I'm Bill Burke, the Dean of the Heritage College Dublin and a proud Heritage College graduate myself. I know I speak on behalf of our faculty and staff when I say it has truly been an honor and a pleasure to work with all of you, the members of our class of 2021. Throughout your time in medical school, we have watched you master the basic sciences that are the foundation of medicine, and then assume the clinical roles and responsibilities of student physicians. Your journey has been exciting and inspiring to witness, but the best for each of you is yet to come. Over the next three or more years, our graduates will further develop their knowledge through postgraduate training in a variety of specialties, including family medicine, internal medicine, pediatrics, emergency medicine, general and orthopedic surgery, anesthesiology, physical medicine and rehabilitation, psychiatry, dermatology, obstetrics and gynecology, and for the first time since 2016, ophthalmology, among others. At a time when our nation is recognizing the need to recruit and retain outstanding family physicians, we are proud that nearly 60% of this graduating class will pursue a primary care specialty. And true to our mission, approximately two thirds of the class of 2021 will stay in Ohio for graduate medical education training. These statistics and these graduates are certainly something to celebrate. At this time, Dr. Jennifer Gwillem will administer the osteopathic oath. Dr. Gwillem is a 2003 Heritage College graduate and serves as president of the Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine, Society of Alumni and Friends, Board of Directors. She is an assistant clinical professor of family medicine and an assistant dean for our Southeastern Ohio clinical education sites. She is also past president of the Ohio chapter of the American College of Osteopathic Family Physicians and president-elect of the Ohio Osteopathic Association. Please join me in welcoming my friend and colleague, Dr. Jennifer Gwillem. Thank you, Dr. Burke. Doctors, please prepare to take the osteopathic physician's oath. The osteopathic oath is a contemporary version of the oath of Hippocrates. It affirms values central to all physicians and surgeons. At Ohio University, both DO and MD physicians are integral to our teaching and research programs, helping to develop and refine the principles of osteopathic medicine. We invite all physicians on stage and in our audience to stand and honor our new graduates by reciting the oath with them. The oath appears on page 19 of your program and on the screens here in the stadium. Now doctors, if you would please join me. I do hereby affirm my loyalty to the profession I'm about to enter I will, be mindful always I will be mindful always of my greatest responsibility to preserve the health and life of my patients. To 
to retain their confidence and respect both as a physician and a friend. To retain their confidence and respect both as a physician and a friend. Who will guard their secrets with scrupulous honor and fidelity. Who will guard their secrets with scrupulous honor and fidelity. To perform faithfully my professional duties. To perform faithfully my professional duties. To employ only those recognized methods of treatment consistent with good judgment. To employ only those recognized methods of treatment consistent with good judgment. And with my skill and ability. And with my skill and ability. Keeping in mind always. Nature's laws and the body's inherent capacity for recovery. Nature's laws and the body's inherent capacity for recovery. I will be ever vigilant. I will be ever vigilant. In aiding in the general welfare of the community. In aiding in the general welfare of the community. Sustaining its laws and institutions. Sustaining its laws and institutions. Not engaging in those practices which will in any way bring shame or discredit upon myself or my profession. Bring shame or discredit upon myself or my profession. I will give no drugs for deadly purposes to any person, though it will be asked of me. I will endeavor to work in accord with my colleagues. I will endeavor to work in accord with my colleagues. In a spirit of progressive cooperation. In a spirit of progressive cooperation. And never by word or by act cast imputations. And never by word or by act cast imputations. Upon them or on their rightful practices. I will look with respect and esteem upon all those who have taught me my art to my college I will be loyal and strive always for its best interests and for the interests of the students who will come after me I will be ever alert to further the application of basic biologic truths to the healing arts. I will be ever alert to further the application of basic biologic truths to the healing arts. And to develop the principles of osteopathic medicine. And to develop the principles of osteopathic medicine. As taught by my profession. As taught by my profession. In the presence of this gathering. I bind myself to this oath. I bind myself to this oath. Now I'd like to be the first to welcome you into the Ohio University Heritage College Osteopathic Medicine Society of Alumni and Friends. Congratulations, doctors. Esteemed guests, this concludes the Heritage College commencement ceremony. We ask that you please remain seated until the marshals have led the graduates from the stadium. At that time, ushers will release the audience row by row, starting at the bottom of the stadium <laughs> to facilitate social distancing. Following the completion of the recessional, this commencement will stand adjourned. Congratulations.